What's going on YouTube? Just no right here. So in today's video, I have for you six great tweaks that you can install on iOS 12.0 all the way up to iOS 12.1.2 that would definitely look great on your device. So let's just get straight into it. So the first one in line is Notifica. And this one is a tweak that allows you to pretty much customize everything related to your notifications and notification banners and so on. So as you can see, once enabled, it looks like this. It makes your notifications look pretty good and you can change the colors, the text, the icons, the phones, and so on. And of course, it does work for the groups. As you can see in here, it does show pretty well. And I'm going to press show less. And there you go. So yeah, you can definitely use it. And it's definitely nice. The customization range is huge. You can pretty much go ahead and change everything related to the banners, hide icon, app name, and so on. And of course, change the colors in here, change the gradient, you know, change the blur and all that jazz. So if you want to customize every single thing, related to your widgets or notifications, definitely go ahead and install Notificat. It's free and it's definitely useful. The next one in line is Pass By, another free one, and this one is very, very useful. This allows you to pretty much make the uh, passcode to no longer be required on specific actions. For example, you can enable this one in here and it will no longer require the passcode after a respring, or you can set it up to pretty much automatically no longer require the passcode when you connect to your Wi-Fi network work at home or when you connect to some Bluetooth device and so on. So this is actually very useful if you just don't want your passcode every time, but you don't want to disable it completely. So I have set it up in here, the uh, pass by application, and the only case I enabled was do not require passcode after respring. So now if I install a tweak or a theme and it resprings the uh, device, I no longer need to put my passcode or touch ID or face ID and so on. I find it very useful and it's awesome because it definitely saves my my time. So yeah, check it out down below. The next one is called Mitsusha 11 and this one is actually very cool. It allows you to pretty much customize the music application and some other third-party music apps like Spotify, SoundCloud, Deezer and so on and it pretty much allows you to add some sort of equalizer view on your application just like the icon shows in there. Unfortunately I will not be able to show you this one in action but I have a screenshot in here. So as you can see there is that bluish bar at the uh, bottom and it creates sort of a wave when the music plays, you know, depending on the music and the bass and so on. And that is pretty much moving around and it's pretty, pretty nice. So we can pretty much customize that and the color. And there is a setting that allows you to pretty much get the color from the artwork. For example, in this artwork in here with 2017 NCS and so on, there is that blue color that is present quite a lot in the image. So it took automatically that color and it's using it. If the artwork had a lot of red, it would have used that red. So yeah, it's definitely nice. And it does move around quite a lot. So yeah, it's completely free and you can definitely get it. There are some customization things that you can do. And you have in here the dynamic color alpha, you have the wave color, as I said, you can change it, the sensitivity and so on. The fourth one is small Siri. Now in a world where Apple believes that everything should be on the full screen from the uh, you know call screen to Siri and so on, I think small Siri is a welcome change. So it looks like this. Hey Siri, how are you doing? So yeah, as you can see, it's actually smaller, just the normal thing, you know, the orb that is moving around and the um, audio wave when you're speaking. And that's pretty much it because that's all it needs. And of course, it expands when it gives you information. But when it's not, it's just staying in there. There is no need to be on a full screen. So this is actually very cool. The settings are actually pretty scarce. You just have one setting, the position on the screen that being top or bottom. If I select bottom here and I say, hey Siri, how are you doing? As you can see, it's on the bottom. Yeah, definitely a nice one if you don't like to have Siri occupying the full screen. The next one is a very interesting one as well. It's called Don't Kill My Music and it does have quite a lot of settings in here if you want to check them out. But what it does is to pretty much allow you to prevent the applications that are playing music from being closed. For example, if I go ahead and play something in here, let's say this one, as you can see, it's playing. So now if I go ahead and try to like close it, I wouldn't be able to do so. It doesn't close. Now, if I go ahead and press pause and it's no longer playing any music, I can simply swipe it and close it. So this one prevents you from closing the applications that are pretty much playing music because this is something that happens all the time. You are playing music in the background and you want to close some applications and you close the application that plays music by mistake. You have to open again the application, go to the playlist, find a song and so on. So this one prevents 
just that. And the last week for today is called Millier, and this one is another free one which allows you to pretty much customize the volume control HUD. You know, the volume control HUD from the iOS, you know, the stock one, is completely dreadful, and this one allows you to pretty much change it. You have a lot of settings in here that you can fiddle with, including the colors for the background, the slider, and so on. So it looks like this when you use it, and it's definitely nice. You can pretty much see that it does look quite nice, better than the iOS one, and when you reach the, um, you know, the full one, it does shake around, and it gives you a vibration to pretty much indicate that. So it looks pretty nice, pretty clean, and it doesn't occupy half the screen. So yeah, this is pretty much it guys, these are the tweaks, thank you for watching, I really hope you enjoyed them, the sources or the repos are in the description where it applies, so yeah, thank you for watching, tell me in the comment section down below which one is your favorite tweak from the ones presented in here, until the next time, peace out.